Some very good news on the medical front. A newly developed blood test for Alzheimer's disease is now within reach. KPX 5's Elizabeth Cook with what could be a huge breakthrough. During this pandemic, Casey County was worried. Her mother was hospitalized and delirious. Could she have Alzheimer's? And it was something that was really scary because she was really confused. She didn't recognize us. The delirium passed. Her mom was fine, but it hit home. That's something that's, you know, awful. It really is a very difficult process. It's, it's a process of ruling out. 56-year-old CeCe Selgren knows firsthand she became forgetful. They were looking at um, head injuries that I got as a kid. They were looking at the potential uh, side effects of being uh, postmenopausal. After a year of multiple tests, including an expensive PET scan, Cece was finally diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And I had to make a decision to retire um, before I had planned to do so. Now, a simple blood test for Alzheimer's may take the guesswork out. A new study published in JAMA found the experimental test is highly accurate at distinguishing patients with Alzheimer's from those who had another condition. This is one of the major breakthroughs certainly of the decade. UCSF doctor Michael Weiner is an expert in Alzheimer's disease. The test uses a method to detect and measure certain proteins associated with the degenerative brain disorder. And it's very important. It's not a treatment. It's not a cure. That's what we really need. We need treatments and cures and ways to prevent Alzheimer's disease. But you can't treat a disease unless you can diagnose it. As for Cece, she is hopeful blood tests like these will help to accelerate research into treatments and cures. This is a game changer. I mean, we're going from, you know, kind of almost like walking around in a darkened room to having the lights turned on. Casey agrees. And this is something that could potentially save a lot of lives and, you know, be a, quick, a good fix for family members all across the U.S. Well, many other blood tests are now in development, and experts believe we may see this test in the clinic in just a few years. By the way, the study was funded in part by the Alzheimer Association walks, but the coronavirus has taken a big hit on that fundraising. Alan?